dear student today i am going to discuss the topic investigating elements of simple mechanical power transmitting system so for introductions we can say a mechanical power system is a collection of components and mechanism that transfer and control mechanical energy or motion from one part of a machine to another allowing for the modification of the parameters like speed torque and directions so what are the uses or importance in various industries of mechanical power transmission system mechanical power transmission system are crucial across industries enabling the transfer and control of power vital products like powering machinery moving products and driving vehicles ultimately impacting efficiency productivity and safety so what are the importance of mechanical power transmission system so it is used for power transfer motion control and it is very much essential for machine for power transfer we can say mechanical power transmission system facilitate the transfer of mechanical energy or motion from one component to another allowing machine to perform work and for motion control we can say they enable control over speed torque and direction of motion adapting power to specific needs and it is essential for machines most machines rely on some form of mechanical transmission to turn function from single tool to complex industrial equipments so what are the application across industries of mechanical power transmitting system so we can use it in automotive system manufacturing system construction system transportation system energy sector havoc and robotics and automotion industry for automotive system transmission brake steering mechanism and other system rely on mechanical power transmission to convert engine power to motion for manufacturing it is used in conveyor belts machinery and automated system utilize this system to move materials assemble products and automated processes for construction it is used in equipment like excavator cranes and other machinery rely on mechanical power transmission for operation for transportations it is used in trains ships and other transportation vehicle which uses mechanical power transmission to move and control the motion in energy sectors power plants turbine and other energy related equipments rely on mechanical power transmission to generate and transmit energy in havoc it is used in heating ventilation and air conditioning system which used mechanical power transmission to control air flow temperature and humidity in robotics and automation electric motor and other mechanical components are vital for the development of automated system and robots so there are different types of mechanical power transmission system for example we can say gears shaft coupling belts chain friction wheels and drive shaft for definition we can say this system uses mechanical components like gears shafts belts chain and coupling to transmit power for example we can say gears it is used to transmit torque and power between rotating shaft often used to change speed or direction it is used in shaft coupling which connects shafts for power transmission compensating for misalignment or vibration it is used in belt and chain drive which is transmit power between parallel shafts often used in application where a flexible connection is needed it is used in friction wheels where transmits power through friction between wheels it is used in drive shafts 
which used to transmit torque between components separated by a distance. So now we will discuss about the simple system and subsystem. So what are the parameters of simple and compounded gear system and also the efficiency of lead screw and screw jack. So parameters of simple and compound system we can say gear ratio, velocity ratio, mechanical advantage and efficiency and already we have discussed there are different types of gears, spar, helical, bevel, worm board, worm, gears etc. So here are some figures of different types of gears like spar gear, straight gear, spiral gear, worm gear, helical gear, handbone gear, planetary gear, internal gear, rack and pinion, helical gear, screw gears etc. Now what do you mean by spar and helical gears? So we can say for spar gear it has straight teeth parallel to gear axis and are used to transmitting motion between the parallel shafts. So application of spar gears are in clocks, pumps, household appliances and machinery. So what do you mean by helical gears? So these gears have teeth angled along gear axis forming a helix shape and are used for transmitting motion between parallel shafts. So what are the applications of helical gears? It is used in automobiles in transmission system similar to spar gear but with greater loads and higher speed. So what do you mean by bevel and worm gear? So bevel gear transmit motion between intersecting shaft at a predetermined angle often 90 degree angle. So applications of bevel gears are in pumps, power plants, material handling system and automobiles. So what do you mean by worm gear? So these gears have a screw like worm meshing with a toothed wheel used for high torque applications and large gear reductions often between non intersecting shafts. What are the applications of the worm gear? So it is used in the instruments, lifts and elevator, material handling system and automobile in generally steering system. So what do you mean by gear ratio, velocity ratio? So it is very much important for transmitting power. Gear ratio, velocity ratio is a measure of speed change between two gears in a mechanical system. It is calculated by way dividing the number of teeth on the driven gear or follower by the number of teeth of driving gear or driver. So formula we can say VR or velocity ratio is the ratio of number of teeth on driven gear to the number of teeth or driver gear. So here is a picture of compound gear trains. In compound gear trains there are one and one and more shafts in a um, gear. So we can say the velocity ratio of the compound gear train in the we can say speed of the last driven gear to the speed of the first driver gear is the ratio of product of the teeth of the driver gear to the product of the teeth of the driven gear. So what do you mean by mechanical advantage and efficiency? So mechanical advantage is the ratio of output force to input force. It is a measure of how much a machine make work easier. The higher the mechanical advantage, the less work you need to do it. And the mechanical advantage of a machine can be the theoretical or real. The theoretical mechanical advantage assumes no friction while the real mechanical advantage accounts for friction. So what do you mean by efficiency? The ratio of work done by the machine to work done on the machine. A measure of how much work is lost to friction. No real machine has 100% efficiency. And we can say efficiency is always less than 100% because some input work is used to overcome friction. So 
there is a example of gear back gear box for power transmitting system a gear box also known as a transmission is a mechanical power transmitting device that uses gears to change the speed direction of rotation torque multiplication or reduction in machine it is used in automobiles and others industrials machineries so now we'll discuss about the principle of the lead screw and the screw jack and the efficiency of the lead screw screw jack and there are different applications of the lifting machines and cnc machine so example of machinery power transmitting system in automotive it is used in gear boxes and differential in industrial it is used in conveyor belt robotic arm in renewable energy it is used in wind turbines and aerospace it is used in landing gear and thrust reverser so what do you mean by lead screw and the principle of lead screw a lead screw converts rotational motion into linear motion by using threaded screw and not in direct contact this is a type of mechanical power transmission lead screw are used in machine that require high precision auto actuation they are well suited for application that requires smooth and precise operation such as laboratories and life science equipment it is used in the lathe for thread cutting operations as well as manual and cnc lathe machine so here we draw the different parts of a screw jack all of you you can see that next what is the principle of screw jack a screw jack operates on the principle of converting rotational motion into linear motion and amplifying force using a screw thread to lift or position or load here's more detailed of explanations it use rotational to linear motion the core principle is that rotating screw for spindle causes a nod or warm gear to move along its thread resulting a linear motion so what is the mechanical advantage and the components of screw jack mechanical advantage of screw jack the screw thread acts as an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder provide a mechanical advantage this means a smaller force applied over a longer distance rotating the handle can lift the large load over a shorter distance that is screw's movement so what are the components of screw jack so components of screw jacks are spindle a screw the threaded rod that rotates not a warm gear a threaded component that moves along the spindle thread handle which is used to rotate the spindle so now we'll discuss working and applications of screw jack so how it works the handle is turned off causing the spindle to rotate as the spindle rotate the nut moves along its thread the nut's movement lifts the lowers the attached load application of screw jack it is used in various applications including lifting vehicles positioning machinery and supporting loads so now we'll discuss about the lead angle torque and friction so lead angle the lead angle is the angle between the helix of a screw thread and a line perpendicular to the axis of rotation a larger lead angle means the screw thread advances further with each rotation requiring less rotational effort or torque to move a load linearly however larger lead angles also mean the screw is more susceptible to back driving where the load can move the screw without external power standard screw typically <coughs> load angles 2 to 5 degree range so now what do you mean by torque torque is the rotational force required to move the screw and translate it into linear motion the required torque is influenced by the lead angle the load and the friction within the system reducing friction can significantly reduce the required torque so what do you mean by friction 
फ्रिक्शन इज द रेजिस्टेंट टू मोशन बिटवीन द स्क्रू एंड नाट एंड अदर मीटिंग पॉइंट फ्रिक्शन रिड्यूसेज द एफिशियंसी ऑफ द लिड स्क्रू सिस्टम मीनिंग मोर टॉर्क इज रिक्वायर्ड टू मूव द लोड फ्रिक्शन कैन ऑल्सो लीड टू वेयर एंड टीयर नॉइज एंड इनक्रीज एनर्जी कन्जामशन मिनिमाइजिंग थ्रू लुब्रिकेशन मेटेरियल चयस एंड डिजाइन कैन इम्प्रूव एफिसियसि एंड रिड्यूस वेयर सो इन कनक्लूशन we can say mechanical power transmission system are vital for efficiently transferring and controlling power and motion in various machines and applications utilizing components like gears belts chains and bearings importance efficiency mechanical power transmission system are designed to minimize energy losses during power transfer reliability robust components are designed ensured dependable operations flexibility different types of system allow the various application and power requirements control they enable pre precise control of speed torque and direction of motion so what is the future trends of mechanical power transmitting system future trends in mechanical power transmission system include sustainability digital transformation and the integration of artificial intelligence and automation for enhanced efficiency reliability and environmental impact reduction thank you very much for this session